had this Jeep for a whole day before things started to break on me. Window regulator. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. I'm out here with the Gray Hornet and I got a little window regulator problem. Went out driving last night, a little test drive, see how things felt. And of course it was hot because I think I got a blend door issue. Uh, of course, something else is broken, neither here nor there. But I went to go uh, roll up the windows because an impending storm was coming. Uh, saw the lightning, heard the thunder, heard the thunder. Anyway, so I went to roll the window up and I heard a crunch and a grind and the window got to about here and uh, well, it started drizzling. Well, I quickly had to do something about it. So I'll show you what I did to prevent this thing from getting soaked and then I'll show you how to actually fix the problem. So we'll do a patch and then a repair coming right up here on the project. All right, here we are, real life scenario. Only I'm out here with the Green Hornet WJ. This baby's getting parted out, so I'm gonna use the regulator from this window. I know, so sad, so sad, but we gotta move on, right? So here we go, we got our WJ. The storm is coming, clouds are rolling in, kinda like it looks right now. But anyway, we got our window stuck down. No matter what you do, it won't roll up. It did go down a little bit more. I was able to pull it back up to the spot, but I heard a snap. I think it was the regulator breaking. So this is where we're at. Storm's coming. Window stuck down, we gotta go take off this door card. Let's do it. All right guys, keep in mind it's about to rain, so we gotta work quickly. I'm gonna try to do this in real time for you. So I'm gonna start with a Phillips bit right here, right in this door pocket, little door handle. Now I'm gonna come in with my T25 Torx right behind this little lever right in here, little hole. All right, that's the only hardware holding this thing on. Put this in your pocket, don't lose it, then get yourself something to pry with, something flat. All right, disconnect the door lever. Pull that yellow out and pull this wire up. Same goes for the one hidden on the bottom. And of course the power plug. Now we have three screws to take off the speaker. It's a good time to replace your speaker if you'd like. Push, pull, speaker out. Alright, here we go. We got a naked door. The only other thing you might have if you've never opened up your door before is the little, um, what do you call it, the vapor barrier, moisture barrier. It's got that sticky, gooey, butyl junk. A lot of times the, uh, the moisture shield or what have you will just crumble when you remove it. I'll show you that on the other Jeep when it's time. But here we go. We gotta hurry because... It's about to rain, like for real, in real life. It's gonna rain again. There we go, here's a better angle for you. Right here, these little clips, just gonna wanna pump them out. There's one. Now if they fall into the door, that's fine. You don't need to retrieve them. We just wanna get this window up. So luckily mine stayed on my pick. Of course, there's another one up here on this side. Yep, that one went into the door, no biggie. Don't need it right now. Now we're just going to push the window off of this track. Push the window deeper. Pull the regulator closer. And it should separate. It's like two little plug plunger thingies. There we go. Off the regulator. All right, there she is. The window is free. We can get the sucker closed because the rain is coming. Just gotta work it up. There we go. Put some weight on it. Get your tape.
Right. Jeep is safe. You're not gonna get water in it. Quick, temporary fix to seal this baby. You don't need to tape it or bag it. By the time you get a bag and the tape and you do all that cutting and stuffing or whatever, you could just seal it with the window like it should be. There, that'll hold till you can order a new regulator. Right now, I'm going to harvest a regulator from this very door. So here we go. And here is a trick. It's a good junkyard trick. If you need to pull a window from the junkyard, we got the positive and the negative terminals to my DeWalt. Just stick a tiny little nail in there, hook it up to the alligator clamps, and you got power right here. Lightning in a bottle. So you gotta go take the motor wires and don't short it out. You don't wanna ruin your battery, but here, hear that? That'll get the regulator up and down. One way is up, you flip it around, you reverse the polarity, and it goes down. Or did I have it the other way? I don't know. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> that's the regulator, good old power trick. And of course, we wanna disconnect it when we're not using it. Just don't wanna short anything out, start a fire, ruin your battery, what have you. That's it, that's all it takes. Tiny, tiny nails. All right, we gotta take off the regulator uh, and the track. It's all 10 millimeter bolts. Two up here. That one comes all the way out. Looks like this one will let you slide. Let's see. Yeah, that's a slidey poo right there. And a couple on the bottom. This is just one. Could be it. Got these two in my hand. Everything goes in your pocket. Let's see. All right, the track is out. Looks like the regulator on WJ's. Bolted right up here. Punch this in. And <laughs> it absolutely helps if the window is up and out of the way. So I guess it's a good thing we taped it up anyway. the wire there we go easy as pie motor window track there's your WJ regulator regulators Mona. it was a clear black night a clear white moon while she was on the streets trying to consume thank you Green Hornet you've been most helpful just hit the east side and the LBC on a mission trying to find Mr. Warren G. Ooh, green hornet, gray hornet. Gold jacket, green jacket, who gives this shit? All right, got my regulator, mount up. We're gonna install this thing now. All right, well, here's how it's supposed to look like in the window. Nice and neat, makes a nice loop. And uh, obviously this one's broken. Cable snapped. How about that? All right, well, this is going to the scrapper. Maybe I could make something out of this window motor. Who knows, but this ain't going in the door. So there we go. We're gonna put this in. We'll just slide her in nice and gently. Obviously we'll follow the contour of the window and make sure this is facing the right direction. We want the window to plunge into here. That's where we slide our clips. And uh, yeah, these two go up here. We left this one in here to slide into that hole. So leave yourself a little clues to help you line things back up. Not that it's rocket science, but hey, I get confused. It happens. There we go, look at that. Run right there. Pop a screw right here. Get one down here. Do it hand tight. Make sure everything is lined up correctly before we go and zip it down. Get the motor lined up. One, two, three holes. One, two, three nuts. One, two, and three. Okay, I'm okay.
Now with the key on, we could get the window regulator right up into our working space. So we could put on the clips. Which reminds me, I gotta get a magnet to fish out those clips. <laughs> when it's raining on you, you just kinda rush into things. Again, I want, oh look, we got bonus clips. One, two, and three. All right. Like I was saying, I just rushed to get this closed. Then once it was closed, you take the time, you order the window regulator, you put it in at your leisure, and you don't have to be stressed about getting your whole Jeep interior soaked. Yeah. So now that we have bonus clips, I'll take these two clips, and let me get the window untaped. Slide it down a little bit so I can line it up with my regulator. And I'll pull the window out. I'll push the window in a little, pull the regulator out until it lines up in the holes. There we go, right there. That little nub is right in. Beautiful. And also one on that side. All right, it's hard to do one-handed while filming, but you go ahead and you slide that clip over the little stud of that nub. Kind of push it into place. I might have to do it off camera because this is hard. Well, it might be in, I don't know if it's in enough, but good enough for demonstration purposes. There we go. That looks like it's holding the window. <laughs> All right, I'll go do this side with two hands. Yeah, I might as well show you on the regulator that you can see. This is the clip. It goes right in this little sock, sock, socket, I don't know, groove. You know what, here, this is the nub. Pretend that's the window. And it goes right back through here. Boink. Clips on. There you go. And you can see that I did that thusly <laughs> right in there. Beautiful. And when you're done, Boink. Beautiful, baby. All the way up, all the way down. Now would be a great time to lube the track with some silicone spray. And uh, you could also dump in some, what do you call that? I don't know, some Vaseline, WD-40, fluid film, anything in there to prevent, you know, the rot. Soak this thing with anything oil-based because you want to keep out the water, prevent the rust. All right, before we go ahead and put the door panel back on, make sure all these things are on your door panel. If they're cracked, you can buy new ones. I'll leave a link in the description. If you have to wait for the regulator to come in the mail, might as well wait for these things to come in the mail. And I'll show you that disgusting black stuff. If you wish to reuse this moisture barrier, be careful, it is brittle. Make sure you put it on before the speaker. It's got a little speaker hole. And uh, you know what, maybe I'll use this. Better to be protected than not, I guess. It's just, it's just decaying. I don't know, a shower curtain would work better. Watch my ZJ video where I put a shower curtain in there. And uh, that's it, button that sucker up. You're good to go. Hey, all right guys, that's gonna be a wrap for my WJ window regulator fix video. Pretty simple stuff, but the tip could get you out of a jam if your regulator happens to crap out on you minutes before a storm rolls in. All you gotta do is just pop this door panel off, flick out those little clips, roll up the window by yourself, tape it off, you're good to go. You'll have a nicer seal, much better seal than if you were to put a bag over it, and that's, that's crap. I'd rather have the actual glass in place where it should be, albeit it's taped on, but it's okay because it's real glass. You don't have to worry about um, animals, critters, bugs, the raccoons getting in there, eating your gym socks. What the heck did I just say? Anyway, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next project. Peace.